Hi guys, in this video I'm gonna cover how to connect, install and properly use Leap Motion Controller with HTC Vive for playing games with hand tracking. So let's get started. First thing you need to do is download Orion Leap Motion software, which you can uh, download from their page. The link will be available in the description below. So first you need to do is download this uh, software. So okay, when that is done, you then open the folder that you already downloaded and just install the software in any place you want. It doesn't matter when this file, this Orion beta is installed, it's, it just needs to be installed. You just simply click, click next and the guide will guide you through this. Then you click finish. So now you can see that we have already installed a Leap Motion Orion software. You double click and there's this uh, window popping out. Make sure that allow images is checked on because this will be helpful playing HTC in Vive games. And uh, next thing you need to do is click on the troubleshooting menu and then click on recalibrate device because important and needs to be done uh, before further uh, actions so you click on it and you click OK even if this window pops out so now it is important that you hold your leap device uh, in position that cable is on the left side and then you move it up down left and right just to score 80 which is the pass point of this uh, device. Please remember that the cable must be on the left side and uh, this process may take a while, it's like a minute or two but it will pass eventually. You need to move your device, rotate the device and move it around your screen so the score that is visible on your, uh, on your monitor equals 80 or, or bigger or bigger number. Make sure that your device is clean Otherwise, it might not work properly. And finally, it is done. The device is uh, calibrated. Then uh, we can press any key to quit. And then we click OK. And that's it for this part. The next part you need to do is install Steam VR. I'm not gonna show you how to do it, it's rather simple. You go to Steam and then you can uh, search in shop for Steam VR, just install it wherever you want. And that's it, that's the Steam VR configuration. After this, you need to go to the GitHub page which contains Leap Motion uh, VR. VR controllers for Steam VR. The Orion that you already downloaded and installed is not uh, exactly mm, drivers for Steam. So you might have a little problem doing this. I'm gonna show you how to do it. The link to this page is in the description below. So just follow me. You click uh, on this Alpha Release 8 over here where you have a zip file. You download it and when it's downloaded you unzip it and that's two icons that are gonna show up on your desktop you then just simply click setup and this is the tricky part this won't install automatically when it needs to be it won't install in the steam vr folder so i'm gonna show you how to do it you click next and you need to know where your steam v steam folder is installed I know which uh, where mine is, but you need to figure out where yours is. So I'm gonna show on my example. Your direc directory will be different. You need to click browse, then go back. Uh, mine is on disk G. Program files 86, Steam, then Steam apps, common. And uh, there should be folder Steam VR that you already installed. Steam VR, 
and then click OK. Next, next, and it's done. You already installed Clip Motion for Steam VR drivers. Next thing that you might uh, want to get is, of course, applications that you will play. You go to this page, which link is also in description, and then just uh, download the application that you like. Uh, for example, let's download Mirrors. You click on it, download it, and after you saved it, I already have, you should uh, have a folder with the game inside which is here mirrors that's the file that i already downloaded you click on the exa file and that's it you click play but before you play of course you have to set up uh, the hdc vive i'm gonna show you right away how it is working so now when everything is ready you need to remember to put your leap motion device on the hdc vive and connect it via USB.3 cable to your computer. For best results I recommend using uh, active uh, extension cord. In some cases passive, uh, passive ones might not do the job, so just use that one. Yeah. This is the cable from Leap Motion and this is and this is connected to PC. Then you just plug one into another and leap motion will pop up. And now it's working. So okay, in this part I'm gonna show you the actual gameplay using HTC Vive and Leap Motion. And sorry for bad sound because I'll be far away from the microphone, but let's get started with the game. So let's turn the circle. Orb or something like this. So, and it starts. You have your hand. So, let's start the game. So that's the basic configuration of HTC Vive with Leap Motion Controller. If you liked the video, please leave a like. If you have any questions uh, regarding the setup, leave a comment down below and see you next time.